Oh, what if you have a new girlfriend? You don't have a golden Rimwald pig person. This really has gone very strange, hasn't it? Oh, damn. You're not the only one with lowered certainty. <laughs> that couldn't have been any more perfect timing. It's Rimrim time. Golden pigs and golden beds. Apparently, we've got a solar flare. If something is gold in the dark, is it truly golden? Yes, you moron, I made it out of gold. Of course, it's, it's, an, it's an element. That's not how that works. So on the subject of golden pigs, I'm thinking it's time. Time for techno bacon. What's that? Cement! <laughs> That's concrete, baby. <laughs> that was totally unintentional. What research is that? Oh, it's neural cement from the reconditioning pod. <laughs> oh my god, that was totally unintentional. That was the best moment of my entire life. <sighs> I would say it's all downhill from here, but I don't think I ever really went uphill. Shit, I think laugh. Wow, how can there be five research? Did I accidentally cancel all the research when I was flailing up the neural cement? How have I done this? What is important is that we reclaim our home. Our home that was nuked, polluted, and then stolen by androids in a in a plot twist. So to catch everybody up to speed so that we're all on the same page, and definitely not so I have to remind myself, no, 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 I remember all things. We have totally finished the Glitter Tech research. And on the subject of Glitter Tech research, there are two things I need to mention. Number one, the ATR codev, the Android Tears Reforged codev, uh, said that firstly, skill trainers do not work on robots because they have access to the network. And secondly, and this one is very important and I very much need to point this out, in the skill points category right here, there is amount of skill points used per insertion. Default is 100. You can change that to whatever you like. So uh, for example, I'm going to change it to 2,000. Now that we have 2,000 points available in the server, I can navigate to our good friend Carver. I can go to the skills tab and I can click on inject points into mining and you will see as if by magic, all of those points or at least 1,800 of them have gone directly into Carver's mining skill. Now, if you can all cast your mind back to yesterday's episode, you may remember I loaded a ship full of very advanced, very powerful mining droids with the, uh, with the intention of going to a meteor mining up all the steel. Sorry, an asteroid. Uh, we flew to the asteroid, and then the asteroid disappeared between the ship leaving the base and getting to the asteroid, and they were lost in space forever. It was a very sad time. However, as a vague smokescreen to try and get you all to forget about and not complain that, I built three robot waifus, which I think was a great success. I have, however, been told that that has since been fixed. So now if you are playing along at home and you decide to do what I did and send a ship to an asteroid that's about to disappear, in theory... Everything should be fine. Lots of people have made the very fair assessment that I should be paying more attention to what Dirt wants and less what I think her goal in the grand human pacification plan should be. That makes it sound far more threatening than no, no, no. So what she wants is, of course, to escape these squishy human bounds and become a uh, robo uh, techno bacon. So I, we should focus on what Dirt wants. And actually what Dirt wants is animals to raise a lot of animals, to do a little mining, and to do a little thinking with her thinky brain. And actually, there's an argument that maybe we could use the reconditioning pod to remove absent-minded for her, given that she clearly enjoys thinky-thinky, but isn't very good at it. Maybe when Dirt gets to the planet, we let her have a farm, because clearly she's interested in that, and she's very skilled at plants too, so let's, let's pay attention to her a bit more. Incidentally, on the subject of Dirt, I also added Dirt officially as Asimov's daughter, because I mean, that's that that's just how it how it go. I mean, Asimov did adopt her and also gave life to her, not in the traditional biological sense, but as in she was nuked and he resurrected her with machinery, which she would be massively into. Don't forget. I can't even bring myself to say it out loud anymore. <laughs> oh, I've got tears in my eyes. I've 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 Pavlovian reflexed myself into singing the word cement and just losing my mind. <laughs> what have I done? What have I, that dwarf series has done serious long-term mental damage, hasn't it? My God. Okay, um, <laughs> hold on, let me get my faculties back here. What were we doing? Let's, uh, here's an idea. Cool, here's a plan. Why don't we carry on with the robo parts? Again, transhumanist thing, so we've got to keep focusing on this aspect. Um, what else did I want? That's right, I wanted that mechani mecha mecha mechanoid bench. Oh, no way. Lucky is still in the freezer. 
We can, we can, we can resurrect Lucky, right? What if we use like a droid resurrector on Lucky? Can we do that? Hang on, drone resurrector kit. I mean, I mean, I know Lucky's not a drone, but I can give it. <gasps> Holy shit! I think it worked. Lucky, Dirt can take care of Lucky. Dirt wants to look after animals, and Lucky was one of the only other pre-nuked androids around. Oh my god! Rescue Lucky. There's no animal bed in safe temperature. That's what you think. Turn on the med pod. Restore Lucky. Does this work? I think you have to build a vet pod, but I'll try it just in case. Uh, okay, just carry Lucky to safety then. Never mind. Hey, turn this back off. I've got the power for that. Lucky, I've made some friends for you. You're free now, Lucky. You're free. I, and you will just you'll just restart. Oh. I'm so happy with that. That's so nice. I feel like nature really is healing. And by nature, I mean a horrifying facsimile of what nature should be. Moon potatoes and robot chickens. Remind me, we'd run out of that's right, plasteel. So the second we see a plasteel meteor, we need to send... There isn't one out there, right? We've got just regular steel right now. The second we get a plasteel meteor, we have to send Carver the second, fully outfitted, of course, for mining. I might also make... Oh, God, I forgot that I agreed to do that, didn't I? Someone in the comment section uh, wanted me to rename the war caskets that are statues. All right, there you go. I've done it. I have bowed to memes. Now, I don't know if they're going to maintain those names when we disconnect from them. No, it's not going to work. It's not going to work, but your heart was in the right place. I appreciate it. Sorry, right, let's put them back in their statues. They are all just Asimov at the end of the day. We are all Asimov. Oh, hey, speaking of Asimov, that was very convenient timing. What have you got for me? Uh, Plasteel Lord, 19 hours left. Well, wh where's the... Oh! I was about to say, where's the ship? And then it dawned on me. Oh, but shit, that's going to cost plasteel, isn't it, to rebuild that? Uh, no, it is not. Oh, we are back in business. Asimov, I need our, our expert builder on this one. Come out of retirement. Just one more time. We could just go over in the Canary to just to get some plasteel back, but more importantly, to keep the, uh, uh, to keep the asteroid active. So I think I might do exactly that. Cover the second. Let's get you over there right now. Oh, I was going to say, we don't have four different German Shepherds, then it occurred to me. That's all the same German Shepherd. Telling me this one dog can do four different things? That's wonderful. Surely, sir, a wonderful, magical creature. God damn. Oh my god, look at the spin on that. Need to show off, Carver the Second. We, we appreciate your skills. Okay, here we go. And now, Plasteel. Now, bear in mind, these have been made harder. So you know what? You might as well get a good start. And I'll, I'll send someone else over with the recharger in a second. Yes, there we are. Okay, select all. Mine connected. Ooh, there really isn't as much as there used to be, is there? Oh, no. So all this uncapped mining yield will help out. 78 per. That's still quite good. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, disconnect from Asimov. You go ahead and connect up to uh, the, the now empty body of Asimov. Carver the second. Then you're going to bring the Android Charger over on the new ship. Asimov, what are you doing? Come on. Come out of retirement. One last time. Boom. There we go. And let's send... Oh, they've only got 350 fuel. Well, we should have enough potatoes to power this thing. Yeah, you're already on it. Amazing. Just read a comment from someone who said, usually sending comments into space is the end goal of a normal room or game. He did it in five seconds by accident. Thank you. One day you can be this skilled. 6,000 hours, by the way. Right, that'll do. I haven't got the patience for any more fuel. You're not... Oh, stop. You're not going to need it anyway. Uh, charging shit. Let's just borrow this one. <laughs> the amount of charging stations I've borrowed and lost forever is... um. Getting a little high at this point. I just put a, f a, f a few spare ones down in here. I haven't thought this through. Somebody needs to fly the other ship back. I need to send two people. <laughs> Otherwise, we're just going to be doing a conga line of ships back and forth. Here, uh, Agricola, you were, the, you were the, the pilot for everybody last time. Congratulations. Our de facto colony Uber driver. Join me. Wow, the ore amount on these really have been cut down, huh? Oh, no. My enormous resource gathering project. Boy, oh boy, do I have an idea for you. Now, we're close to being able to get vacuum frames, right? We just need a bit more neutramine. When we get the neutramine, we're going to put it in the neutramine machine. That makes more neutramine. But then after that, the shackles of space armor will be cast aside. Asimov is free to wear whatever he wants, be it shorts... A lovely tank top, perhaps a, a nice lacy thong. I'm not going to judge him. He can live his best life. Or perhaps even 
Uh, an Arco Helmet. An Arco Helmet that allows him to control far more many Mechanoids. In fact, a ludicrous amount of Mechanoids now that I'm reading the stats. This is an upgrade of the armor that Asimov uh, successfully deflected three nukes with. So suffice to say, you've piqued my interest. Should have sent the other bots because there's nothing to do. There is like, actually nothing to do with the base. So look, they're just they're just standing around. And I upgraded the majority of them, right? Yeah, see, they were almost fully upgraded. They're missing some bits here and there. Why are you only 50% moving? Oh, you're missing a foot? It was probably the whole mechanoid thing yesterday. I'll make sure they're fully upgraded. And the next asteroid we send them out on, we'll, we'll have them join our people. What about, like, tools? I could give them just, like, a pickaxe or something, right? Like a jackhammer, I suppose? You know in that one series where everybody's a pacifist and I'm going to carry weapons and we're going to use automated drones to fight our battles? Hey, why don't we just not give our people tools? Unlike every other series where I do. Oh, that's a great idea. Really just very inspired. Oh, what the hell are we missing? Chem fuel? Nothing, you damn liar. Absolutely nothing, you liar. I presume they're using it to refuel. Oh, I put that in the wrong place. I presume they're using it to refuel the ship. Yeah, you don't have to do that. We're, we're all good, thank you. You could just make more. We got a lot of potatoes. Finally, the respect that Descartes, Plato, Cicero, and Agricola deserve. Let's send them off to be mining bots now. <laughs> they are still going to do the dirtiest, filthiest work, but somebody has to. Blood replacement. Have you got gold blood? What is that? Thermal control blood. No, I need gold blood. Hyperclot blood. No, you're not understanding. I need gold blood. Energy max blood. No, you're totally getting... You're, you're missing the point entirely. Next sentence is not going to make any sense at all. How many servers am I going to need for techno bacon realistically? Can I bring back the... Uh, what have they got here? 5,000 Plasteel and be done with it? Because it's really hard to get Plasteel now. I mean, it's not hard, but... I, I mean, given the amount of work that we put in to get up to this point, I would argue it's hard. We got nuked twice. It's now significantly less easy. And I'm not sure I can justify keeping these people around this long, because I feel like they're all going to go nuts. I'd much rather bring them back to the base and start building what we need to build, and then worry about getting more if we need it, than getting everything. Sometimes, you can be satisfied with a small amount in life. Well, that was supposed to sound much more profound and, like, re reflective, but it just sounded disgusting. Sometimes in life, you can make a little go a long way. And if it doesn't go far enough, you can stretch it. <laughs> Again, it's supposed to be as just life advice. If you take this the wrong way, that's on you. 480 a server. I'm, I'm being ripped off. I'm being absolutely ripped off, and now we're out of fucking steel. You're allowed to swear now, aren't you? Just as long as it's not the majority of the video. Which doesn't really explain why some of them have been demonetized. That's not relevant, okay? That's not relevant. It's, it's a 30-minute video, so as long as I don't spend more than 15 minutes saying swear words, <laughs> in theory, it's allowed. I, cough. I don't know what's going on anymore. Does anybody? Does anybody? I'm not just talking about YouTube. I'm just talking about in general, in life. Another steel asteroid yet. We've got plasteel, we've got plasteel, and that is everything. Ooh, should we take a trip to the satellite? We never did visit. It could be so lovely. I'm going to send my good friend Agricola over to the satellite. Because I, just to, just to take a look. Even, oh, we can land on it. Oh, cool. I don't know if we'll actually be able to interact with it or whether it's just a point that we can form the caravan. Probably can't do anything when we're there. We could create an outpost. <laughs> Artillery outpost. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, man. A hunting outpost begs a lot of questions. Um, oh, that's kind of fun. I could have blasted all the humans up into space. Gives me an idea for future playthroughs. Say the planet is covered in pollution and totally doomed and like beyond saving. We send them up into orbit instead. That's kind of fun. I like that a lot. Well, there we go. We've, we've learned a valuable lesson here. There's absolutely nothing of value there. Quest available, the secret compound. Now, I've been ignoring these uh, pretty much entirely up to this point because we're not going to go back to the planet to go rob a compound when we're pacifist robots. But if there's a magic nuke-defying helmet in there, my God, I will accept it. Uh, there may be all manner of dangers inside. I think in that case, we have to send... I, I mean, it's hacking too. We'll send the pillarman. So let's connect up and let's get down there. Hold on. I didn't have to reconnect those. Whoa, 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 whoa. How has this happened? Has something been patched behind the scenes in between me putting them on pillars and now? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Watch this. Asimov. I mean, this is fantastic if this is true. 
No longer are people going to kick over my statues. I never, I never appreciated that before. Oh! A gift. Thank you, whoever has done that. What a, what a fantastic change. All we have to do is wake them up and they're just connected to the network. Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, look. Let's get on the ship. Let's head down there. Such a lovely community. It's a shame about the players. <laughs> Wait, which am I after? Uh, well, I know it's an ancient complex, but this really doesn't narrow it down. Um, hang on, which one? That one right there. Go. Uh, let's just go uh, right at the center. They're practically untouchable war caskets. Hang on, what if we get one of the ancient terminal quests? I guess I'll just cross that hurdle when and if we get there. I'm sure we'll manage fine. Right, your hacking skill is going to be super, super fast here. Here we go. Let's crack open a cold one with the boys. We got 42 uranium. Oh, that's a game changer. That's what we've been looking for. Round of applause, please, for Asimov. And that's everything. Perfect. You got resurrected to make serum for me? Suppose not that we need it. We're kind of beyond that now. Wow. Do you remember Terra Firma? I forgot how nice it was to be on the ground. It's been... What the hell do you mean Bonnie got reached level 5 shooting? What the hell do you mean by that? What are you What are you shooting? Did me a, did me a significant fright and then... Tab away from the base and suddenly I'll be able to get more experienced at combat. Good lord. Easiest quest of my life. The Fallen Empire. The Fallen Empire. No, no, they're human. They're human. They're human. You fool. I got blinded by my by my rage. I guess what we could do if we have to hack one of the uh, tribal terminals is we could just... We could just, like, ignore them. <laughs> like, we can turn up and we can just straight up ignore them, eh? Man, our faction has to be semi-mythical on this planet. They thought we were nuked out of existence. It's, it's rumored if we even are still alive because we just mind our own business up on the moon, right? And then this random Imperial scout sees a ship come from space, unloading four people to hack a terminal looking for a treasure on the planet. This is... Oh, we, we're like so mysterious and, and suave. Maybe we're not. Maybe they refer to us as the space weirdos. Those robot, those weird robots from space and their gold pig friend. They look through their telescopes and observe a staggering amount of mechanoids all flying towards the moon. I'm sure they can piece it together. They're not idiots. Why don't we just pretend I did this on purpose? I like that I did all of this research specifically to spend it on skill trainers for dirt. Obviously, I never once planned to use it on the robots. Uh, how do I craft skill trainers though? Because it unlocks make skill trainer. I, I've checked every bloody bench that would be, I think, a reasonable place to make a skill trainer. Oh, what about like, the drugs bench? Could be there. Uh, what about you? Do you make skill... God, bamboozled. Where the hell else would you make a skill trainer? Um, is there another bench that I've missed? Oh, there's quite a lot of benches, though, to be fair. Skill trainer assembly terminal. You know, Jeeves. I may have sussed it. Obviously not sus as in like the in the internet. What a disgusting cesspit of a of a of a creation. Of a societal creation. I haven't got enough steel. There's <laughs> <laughs> oh been quite the theme to this series, hasn't there? Wow, uh, there's some steel. You can go get that for me. I mean, how on earth would we have ever played this without the asteroids? How could you possibly scrounge up the, what, the 100,000 plus steel that I have gathered, if not for these asteroids? If not for the moon? Ah, Asimov, yes. Ooh, Asimov, no. Look at the cost. Oh, my God. Where am I supposed to get four glass of oil medicine from? We still haven't got the new Tramian setup. How are we doing? Now, bear in mind, we've got to be bloody close, given that we've had 10 chickens laying eggs around the clock, which are being turned into... Uh, New training from the, the capsules that they lay. So in theory, we've got to be bloody close at this point. This has been set up for ages. 39. Are you shitting me? 39. <laughs> In all this time. Wow. Please tell me there's an alternative way to get new training. I can't bear to look at these chickens. Nope. Uh, one requires a tech print, which we do not have. A zero of one. And then the other is the medicinal compounding facility. So it's all in on the chickens. I suppose we just have a tech print for new training lying around. Arco tech replacements. Bloody hell. Hello. Well, I'll definitely take that. That's got to be a lot of tech prints though, right? Asimov. That is, um, so, oh, we've got two of them. Oh. Is it possible it could be a two research thing? I mean, this is to make Arco tech limbs. So there's no way in hell that <gasps> it requires two total. Oh my God. Techno Pig is back on the menu. No, no, no. Techno Pig isn't back on the menu. I mean, like, it's still... Uh, it's, 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 uh, we can potentially do it. 
You watch these Alcotet limbs require steel, and I will cry a sad tear. That's it. Oh my god, friendship ended with networked limbs, though we will build some of them because a network blood system that goes offline should there be a solar flare sounds really helpful. Um, he says without a hint of sarcasm. Arco, what was it? Arco tech replacements. There we are. Now this one says craft to clarify the base game Arco tech leg, Arco tech arm, and Arco tech eyes. So it's a uh, far cry from a full system replacement as a lot of this stuff is. So we're still going to need both. But this gives us the best of both worlds. Now, if we get hit by a solar flare or the network goes down, she'll still be able to move her arms, her legs, and be able to see. It's just her blood will solidify and she'll die instantly. I, I think one of that <laughs> nervous system enhancement. Why not plug your nervous system into Twitter? Because strangely enough, every time I open social media pages, I feel my nervous system quake with fear. I don't know about the rest of you, but I see several people typing in the Discord art channel and my amygdala does a backflip. It was a dangerous situation. So why not? Why not embrace it a little bit? I hope it can connect to the moon, but I'm I'm uh, almost certain it won't. So we're going to have to send a squad ahead of time to clear that base out and build another network. Or maybe even transfer the network down, put dirt in maybe like a temporary coma. The problem with that is she can then never leave the base. She's almost anchored to wherever we decide to put her. But I mean, this is the best I can do for the for the transhumanist thing. This is the height of technology. Totally, completely unrelated here. I have finally built a proper therapy room. I just hope they don't have a fear of plants. Otherwise, they are in for a lot of trouble. That's allowed me to clear some space so we can throw down the biosculptor pod. I was trying to find a way to make this room balanced, but it's really hard to do. Um, if we bring that forward to like there, that might look a little bit better. Ooh, what about back to back? Yeah, that would look better. Oh, I'm a genius. There we go. Much nicer. So now we can do the biosculpting for uh, dirt. There isn't anything I really want to do for her right now. A lot of these aren't really necessary. Other system enhancement and a mineral rich asteroid spotted in bracket steel. There it is. Uh, French Bender with Plastil. Like, you can go away now. Thank you. I'm sure I need more Plastil in a minute, too. If you're thinking, why not just keep the other map active? Uh, this game has slowed down to an absolute crawl. Probably something to do with the fact that I keep building uh, ridiculous bases. Just very, very silly bases indeed. I'm trying to minimize the impact on the performance as much as possible so that I can stick to one episode a day. Because if we have every asteroid active, it would be one episode a month. Instead of speed four, it would be real time. Be one minute in real life to one minute passing in game. But what the hell happens if I accept this? Is it going to land on the moon? No, it's going to land on the steel or asteroid. Oh, okay. Um, Imperials from the Fallen Empire will detect the signature. Oh, God. Well, this is annoying. Okay, well, let's wake up the pillar men again, then. Why not? We're going to have to send someone back with the ship to pick up the pillar men. And then send them all back at the same time. Maybe with the charger this time. Well done. Very good. Oh, Empire. 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 Uh, non-lethal weapons, then. Non-lethal weapons it is. Somebody did say that the dark gun is better than the anesthetic gun. The problem is the dark gun costs new training. If there's one thing I would need but don't have, it would be very much new training right now. Aurora Borealis. Localized entirely on my moon? Wow, it's even on the asteroid too. Now, I have a vague knowledge of all things. I was, after all, <laughs> my university's general knowledge champion. I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. It w I didn't go to Cambridge, to clarify. It wasn't a good university. In fact, I was probably the only person in the room that could read, despite popular rumor otherwise. <laughs> uh, let's do it. Hold. Stop. You're going to send me people that steal our asteroid. Fine. Fine. Send your men. Asimov without the gun does a little hacking. And then Asimov with the gun stands next to the thing and gets ready to blast any people. Let's hope they don't go for carvers. Otherwise, they're going to get drilled. And I can't be held responsible for that. But judging by some of the comments in response to the carvers that were built yesterday, I'm not entirely sure a drilling is entirely off the table for some of you. Bloody war casket, 75% hacking speed. Oh, 82. He's speeding up. 88%. Oh, he's warming up. He's warming up to it. Raids arriving in one second. Let's draft up squad. Please come and help. God, I hope it's not many people. I mean, we're on an asteroid. It's not going to be many people, right? It's, uh, it's one person. It's no Sarah Bear me me Meow 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 Scoss. That's not any of those words. Just can't imagine using anesthetic rifles against a... What the hell is that thing? Incendiary launcher. We're in space. 
Sorry, we're, we're in space. I don't mean to let you down here. What I was about to say is using anesthetic rifles to pierce someone's spacesuit. The hell do you think you're doing? To anesthetize someone is um probably not the most non-lethal way of going about it. It's not going to work. You can't like think we're in space. Sorry, I don't mean to clarify. Again, you picked the wrong weapon for the job. Not only are we in space, there's, there's nothing to catch fire. There is no ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That wasn't me. Well, I mean, it clearly was me. Or oh, is it friendly fire? What happened? Well, you really liked Asimov. Opinion. I'm dead. Asimov's opinion of me plus 100. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> Why did you like them so... What are you talking about? Are you upset now? Because you've... I see hungry. Abysmal maintenance. Oh, you're actually not upset that we hurt someone. How the hell did you die then? Mystery. Show, show all? Mystery time. You just you just blew up. I guess they were um, instantly down by the anesthetic rifle and then room all bullshit mechanics. Makes them instantly die to being down and then the death of fire killed them. I can only presume. Well, I don't understand why we didn't get the kill though because we should still be upset about that though, right? Oh, harm somebody times five minus 67. Yeah, no, that would do it. Probably just a delayed reaction. There we are. Maybe I was even looking at the wrong Asimov. Maybe that too. Oh, no, they, they are absolutely mortified. I'm going to click the berry button. Why are you... Purple blood? I'm going to click the berry button and see what happens. Extract stack. Yeah, give me that. Hey, look, we've got a cortical stack of them. We've got their, their entire backed up consciousness. They're fine. We didn't kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Just a pile of dirt in orbit. Hole containing no Saraba. It's very good. It's very good. This is a great game. It's a really great game. Very sensible. Lots of sense going on here. I'm just going to pack this up and leave, I think. Oh, I guess we've got to wait for you to finish hacking anyway. Uh, not, is that another quest for... Amazing. Absolutely amazing. They are coming in faster than we can complete them. As far as I'm concerned, that is an absolute win. Thank you. Please move away from the explosive spaceship. You don't want to end up like my good friend... That person buried in a hole in space. Actually, that's kind of a cool way to go. That sounds incredible. Um, yeah, but you can leave now. That's enough steel. It won't be. I've said that multiple times, and it's never once been enough. Oh, oh, that's like reasonably priced. I expected these to cost a small fortune, but that's fine. Techno bacon, it's time. Join us in the Arco world. Oh, actually, I mean, you'll be the only person in the Arco world. Nobody else here is Arco. Not until we get this ridiculous nuke-proof armor. Uh, speaking of which, oh, hello. Captain Cuba Viving Gravy Plasma of the Outer Rim Mercenaries wants us to build a monument. We have no choice because this is a human giving us orders. Um, I will take your... <sighs> These are all shit, aren't they? Um, I'll take your Devil Strand Seeds, I suppose. Moon Monument. Oh, that's cool. I like that a lot. What if someone attacks that? Why can't I build it there? What the hell? Oh, because I've got cables running there. Oh. How odd. Uh, where the hell am I going to put this in? I've got cables running everywhere. Um... <laughs> what a pathetic display. There we go. Problem solved. Right, let's throw that down uh, roughly there. That will have to do. And I think we've got more than enough bricks to make that happen. Yeah, I, I think 15,000 marble should cover it. The secret silicon. You've learned an ancient terminal that contains information about the Arco Helm. However, it's surrounded by a tribal village. Uh, I think we send a war casket in and we send the war casket in pacifist mode. As in, it won't fight back, and then we just have it hack it and walk away while they wail on it. Because they're not going to get through a war casket. Especially not one of these more advanced ones like this one here. I guess we'll just give it a go. Asimov, can we release Asimov? No, no, don't release this Asimov. This one's on the verge of breakdown. One of them is an Asimov that we can release that didn't harm anybody. So it should be safe to go on an adventure. Uh, not you. <laughs> back in the pillar. From somebody to not you either. God damn it, I hate these pacifist robots. I hate them. Yes, you'll do. I just drop in the center. <laughs> I'm sure that won't incite any violence towards us. You dickhead. You landed on the terminal, didn't you? You you landed on the terminal. <sighs> Leave. Leave. Don't ever talk to me again. Well, this is going to be a real test of Vonnegut's medical skill. 7.46, bear in mind, we gave them all of those medical bonuses, so they should be okay. But this is this is your real test of character. Can you make techno bacon? 
The most important thing that arguably has ever happened. What the hell do you mean repair mandible? I'd rather you did not. I don't think I even want a mandible. Arco leg, arco leg, arco eyes, arco arms. Or in a state of the art hospital. Ooh, a desensitizing module. What the hell does that do? Don't know, but it can link up to the entire room. So I guess we'll build one of those two Asimov. Run fast. Okay, here we go. You're in a state of the art hospital, the best that we can build with a medical robot using glossy world medicine. You're going to be fine. I have complete faith in this medical expert with seven medical skill. Ah, we're gonna do something about that fast. Hey, that'll do. Eight medical skill, good enough. Oh no. <laughs> How rapidly we've gone from glossy world medicine to herbal medicine. I think you'll still be fine. I think your medical success chance is so high that you'd have to really mess this up. We would have to roll very, very low on that dice. This is almost it though. Techno pig, golden skin, arco arms, legs, and eyes. Oh my God, and then you can throw her in the med pod to remove the anesthetic. Really? Holy shit. That's techno pig right there. You can go further. We can go from Techno Pig to Cyber Pig as soon as we built these guts and net processes. It turns out Asimov is the only person skilled enough to build them. So that's going to add a significant amount of time to uh, the whole production. But eventually we can replace your nervous system and your blood with stuff that's connected to the internet. Which, trust me, is a fantastic idea. As far as I'm concerned though, Operation Techno Pig, success. You've got Arco Tech limbs. You've got golden skin, golden teeth. You are good. You're good. And then we'll upgrade you even further as soon as it's feasible. We have an Arco Dirt, yes. But how about we go for an Arco Asimov? So our next goal becomes get this armor, preferably without crushing the terminal that's going to tell us how to get it. This is just the helm, of course. Then after that, we have to get the armor too. This gives a massive amount of benefits. So imagine what the armor itself gives, given that this is just the helmet. Thank you, as always, here for joining me on Moon Base. One day, I promise you, we will return to the planet and we will bring peace and prosperity to the realm. If we get through a series without me going on some sort of murderous rampage, without the vitriol and the hatred of humanity coming to the forefront, without intentionally killing anybody, I think this is a whole new era. Thank you, of course, to the patrons who allow this series to exist in the first place. Thank you to Two Megobot Maker, Wookie Overlord, VV Heiter, Exodus 2169, Meepsicle, Lyndon the Dragon, Boulder of the Hammer, Samuel Burton, Dwumutsiksa. Please let me know if that was wrong. <laughs> Honey Delelio, I love you too much, Chingo. Gigi, Drastanus, and. Exodus for their support of the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you. And a thank you as well to Rubber Rubby, Skunkalope, Berbermanta, Tasnaf, David Alexander Bennett, Craze Monkey, 231, Lord of Sofa, Andre Philippe, Dizzle Dog, Oh Baby, Vibs, Kai, Jordan 15J, El Chalupa Cabra, Hyrax Syriacus, Bannigan, and of course, everyone else as well. See you all tomorrow.